But like I said, I don't have time tonight for a proper clapback, but I will have time tomorrow. Peace. Watch White Womanist Work Part 2. Of all the white allies, one of the most fascinating is Miss Millie. Miss Millie is good, white folk. Of this, no one is more certain than Miss Millie. She would be the first to tell you that she's always been good to you people, the blacks. But especially black children who make the perfect props to promote Miss Millie's goodness. Ah, but Miss Millie's relationship with black adults is more complicated. She's a stalwart ally. But Miss Millie prefers her black folks subservient. And when we are not subservient, Miss Millie's goodness turns to bitterness. And rest assured that if black people were to hold Miss Millie accountable for her anti-blackness, Miss Millie's go-to defense would be... Meet Miss Millie. Yet another Karen causing confusion because I held accountable Karen's criticizing Keith for clout. Ah, but if I were to release the black and on Miss Millie, calling me sick and a Miss Millie would clutch her pearls and report me for bullying, punching down. But I can't control what you people do. I'm just a vessel. Do what thou wilt, but don't be surprised when you're met with. I've always been good to you people. Watch white womanness work in real time. The outcha. Update. After coming into my comments and even creating a post to call me slurs unprovoked, cantankerous cousin Karen DM'd Keith Lee to lie, saying that I threatened her. She then posted that DM to kill two birds with one stone by implicating Keith Lee in the false threat. Not only did I say that this is how white womanness works in the original Karen's Criticizing Keith video, I was so sure that cantankerous cousin Karen would do this that I actually said she would do it in the clapback video, which was actually recorded before the heads up video that you saw first. Look at the timestamps of when those videos were recorded. That's right. So predictable that I could literally record my clapback preemptively. And now here we are talking about it in real time. Isn't it ironic? You were so mad that I pointed out how white womanness works that you actually demonstrated it perfectly. It's not ironic at all. In a white power structure, black people are forced to know white people even better than white people know themselves. It's quite predictable. <laughs> we out, sir.